few years ago, I had an ingrown toenail. It got to the point where it was so bad that the toenail would rub against my sock and hurt me every time I walked. And the reason I get it is because I have cerebral palsy and with the way I walk, it um, oftentimes stub my toe. Generally affects my big toe and um, causes an ingrown toenail. So basically I got it removed twice. The first time I got it removed I went to the doctor and they just removed it. They gave me a shot in my toe underneath the toenail to numb the pain and then they just removed the toenail. As the shot wore off um, it was I had to drive home. It was kind of difficult to do that but after about a day or two, the tone, the pain of the toenail went away. So I mean, it was definitely getting it worse removed. Um, the first time, because about a year, it lasted without the toenail. But the problem was the toenail did grow back, and it wasn't grown. So then, about one year later, I got it removed again, and this time I said I don't want it to grow back at all. So the doctor rubbed some ointment on it that wouldn't make the toenail grow back. And it's been about four years since I've gotten removed and I figured I'd show the toenail how it's doing now because I'm pretty sure it'll never grow back like an ingrown toenail if you see it. So now I'll show my toe. This is the toenail they removed. They numbed it by sticking that needle under there and uh, that toe was numb when they took it out. I couldn't feel a thing. And then what happened was the second time the reason it didn't grow back like a normal toenail was because it uh, they rub some ointment on it that supposedly isn't is doesn't make your toenail grow back but as you can see there is a kind of a hard layer on top of the toe see like as you can see my other toe there's like this smooth top layer somewhat smooth a lot smoother than this other one and see that's like how normal toenail should look relatively because obviously I have cerebral palsy and my feet look a little bit different that's kind of how a toenail should look and it's like I said it's been about four years since they removed it the second time and it doesn't cause me any pain before I couldn't even do this without causing a tremendous amount of pain now I mean I can do that all around my toenail it took about one year for this to grow back and just make sure you get them to rub that ointment on the first time to prevent a second doctor visit because probably in about a year it's if you don't rub that ointment on it's probably going to grow back the exact same as it did the first time. <laughs>